Apache Hadoop, a collection of open source software utilities that facilitates using a network of many computers to solve the problem involving massive amount of data and computation. It provides a software framework for distributed storage and processing of big data using the MapReduce programming model. To install Hadoop onto your Ubuntu operating system, the first thing you need to do is you just need to install the Java JDK. So I will be installing OpenJDK 8. So for that, just open your terminal and just type sudo apt and just type install OpenJDK-8 and just type JDK and just click enter and enter your password. So you can see it's saying that it's already the newest version. So it means I have already installed the Java JDK 8, Open JDK 8. So I don't need to do it again. So if you are doing it for the first time, this might take some time to install. And once you do that, just type CD and just type slash USR, LIB and slash JVM. Just click enter and just type LS. So if you are able to see this onto this directory, then the Java JDK or Open JDK 8 has been successfully installed into your system. So once this is installed, just type cd to come into the root directory and just type sudo nano and just type bash rc and just click enter. So let me just maximize this one and just go into the bottom of this bash rc file and just go to your browser and source for code with origin.medium.com so here you will be you will be able to find this install hadoop on ubuntu operating system just go with this link or i will just put the link of this article into the description as well so you can directly go into the link so let me just co copy these all commands so you can directly copy this command so let me just copy and just go to the terminal again and at the bottom i will just type control shift and v to paste this command and just type control and o to write and just click enter and just type control and x to exit so once this is done so we just need to install the assets as, as well so for that just type sudo apt and just type git install and just type assets at so this has been installed so if you are doing it for the first time again it might take some time so i have already installed this one so it has taken less time so once this is done so we just need to go into the apache hadoop website so just go to the browser and search for apache hadoop download and just go to this first link from hadoop.apache.org and we will be installing the latest version so which is 3.2.3 .3. so just go to this binary and just click on download so this will now download the binary version or tar file of this version of the hadoop and just click on this tar file so this will now download the tar file here so once this tar file is downloaded let me just go into the terminal again and make sure to come into the root directory just type cd and you just need to extract the file so just type tar tar hyphen z and just type x v f and just give the tilde sign and just type download or wherever you have downloaded and just type hadoop name so this is the tar file which we have just downloaded and just click enter so now this should extract the tar file into this root directory and once this is downloaded let me just type cd and just type hadoop and just click enter and just type etc and just type hadoop and if i just type ls here so you can see all the files are available here so we, we need to make changes on some of the files the first thing is we just need to make changes on hadoop environment .h. so we just need to set the path so just type sudo and just type nano just type hadoop anb dot assets and just click enter and enter your password and just keep on the scrolling so you will be able to see the java home here so you can see the java home here let me just clear this comment here and we just need to paste the path of java home here so for that let me just go into the terminal again so let me just go into the another tab of terminal and just type sudo or you can directly go into this article so you can see 
here the java home which we have set here so let me just copy this java home from here and let me just come into the terminal and let me just clear this one from here and just type control shift b to paste and just type control and o to write out and just click enter and just type control and x to close so once the java home is set into the hadoop environment so we need to make changes on the core side.xml so for that just type sudo just type nano and just type core hyphen side.xml and just click enter and again go to the article here and at the bottom so you can see the core site.xml so just copy this command from here and let me just go to the terminal and instead of this configuration so just clear this configuration from here and just type control shift b to paste and again just type the same command control and o enter and control and x so again we need to make the changes on sdfs site.xml so just go on that as well so just type sudo nano sdfs iphone site.xml just click enter just go to the article again and here you can see the sdml sdfs site.xml so just copy these lines of code here so let me just copy this and just go to the terminal and go to, into the bottom here let me just again clear the configuration and just type control shift b to paste and just type control o enter and control x and again similarly we need to make changes on map red site.xml just type sudo nano map red site.xml just click enter and just go to the article again and just copy this line of code from here so let me just right click and copy and just go to the bottom of this file and let me just clear this configuration and just type control shift b to paste the command and just type control and o to write out control and x to close again so similarly we just need to make the changes on yarn site.xml as well so just type sudo nano yarn site.xml so let me just go to the article again and let me just copy these lines of code from here and again go to the terminal and at the bottom let me just clear this configuration from here and just type control shift b to paste and control o to write out enter and just type control and x so once this is done so we are done with the making changes on the files so now we just need to type ss at dot and give the space and just type localhost and once this is done so we just need to type some other commands so let me just go into the article again so all the commands are already given here so let me just copy this command and let me just go to the terminal and just type control shift b to paste this command and just click enter and just type y to override so once this is done so we just need to copy this command as well so let me just copy this command from here and let me just type control shift b to paste it here and similarly we just need to format the name node as well so for that let me just copy this command from here and let me just type ctrl shift b to paste and just click enter so now this should format the name node just type y so once this is done so we just need to start so we just need to format the file system as well so for that just copy this command and just paste it inside here and once this is done so to start the sdfs just type start and just type on all dot assets and just click enter so this should start the name node and data node so now to check if the hadoop is working properly or not we can just go to the chrome or your browser and just type localhost 9870 and if this is showing something like this then the hadoop is working properly into your system so just go to this utilities and just click on this browse the file system so we just want to create one folder inside here so for that just go to your terminal so let me just clear it first and just type hadoop fs hyphen make directory and just type user so now this should create the folder or directory with name user so let me just refresh this here so you can see the user has been created so i just want to create one more folder inside here so just type hadoop and just type fs hyphen mkdir slash user slash code dot 
with Arjun and just click enter. So again, if I just go into this user, so you can see the code dot with Arjun has been created. So I just want to add one CSV file inside this code dot with Arjun. So you can just give your name. So your first name and last name instead of this code and with Arjun. So for that, just type touch demo dot CSV. So let me just create one CSV file. And I just want to add this demo dot CSV into this code dot with Arjun. So for that, we just have to type Hadoop FS iPhone put and just type demo dot CSV slash user slash code with Arjun. And let me just click enter. So now if I just check inside this code dot with Arjun, so you can see inside here, the demo.csp file has been successfully added into the Hadoop. So this is how you install Hadoop onto your Ubuntu operating system. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one.